you are witness to a city of legends. At the northernmost point of China and the easternmost end of the world, it wakes at dawn each morning and loses itself in ecstasy each night. Across the street, old and young observe each other. Youthful passion on one side, a meditative reflection on the other. A city integrating cultural diversity, breaking down geographical barriers, transcending time and space with bigger dreams, stronger personality, and clearer direction than all the rest. Harbin's ancient origins are shrouded in the mists of time, but the city was propelled into the limelight a hundred years ago. There has never been a city so Chinese as Harbin, nor a Chinese city so exotic. A century has passed by, events of many moons echo through history, but what was young is still young. Despite a century gone by, Harbin is still full of vitality, excitement, stimulation and contradiction. A sense of déjà vu, combined with greater uniqueness than any other city you have visited. Unlike cities that remain the same throughout the year, Harbin has four clear seasons. The city is located at latitude 45 degrees north of the equator, providing ideal conditions for raising cattle, cultivating corn, and precision instrument manufacturing, earning it the reputation as the golden milk and corn belt. The river blesses the city. The river brings the city spirit. The river brings the city life. Harbin grew out of the Songhua River, and has always followed the ethos of bringing prosperity to both banks of the Songhua River. Because we depend on it, the ecology of the Songhua River must always be improved, preserving the mother heart of this masculine city, ensuring future generations as yet unforeseen business opportunities. Environmental protection is not just a goal for economic development, but also part of the city's tradition. Familiar strangers, every foreigner just arriving in Harbin will understand anew the meaning of this phrase in their heart. Over a short hundred years, from its peak when Harbin was home to people from 40 different nations, a Western architectural tradition has developed in the city. As a former financial and trade center of the Far East, a feeling for business has been passed down in Harbin's blood. Like a city, of heaven. Youthful Harbin fosters a curious and tolerant atmosphere, regardless of race, language, culture, or food. Nothing can stop its progress. With such striking uniqueness, it is like entering another universe. Because of this, you will be gently drawn to linger, passing through phases of familiarity but always returning to discover something marvelous and new. Interest in snow and ice sports are developing fast in China, bringing to the ice city huge numbers of enthusiasts and massive business opportunities for people from all over the world. The Ice and Snow Art Festival is already famous, spurring the city on to offer ever more novelties to dazzle the visitors' eyes. Yaboli is not only the finest resort for competition and tourist skiing in China, it also boasts a year-round conference center for Chinese entrepreneurs. Because the passion brought by the cold air of winter is not enough to satisfy the city, Harbin is reinventing itself anew as a resort with a different trademark. The summer capital. As well as the people-friendly climate, 
Summer Harbin offers many summer activities, making it Asia's newest hotspot destination for international conferences and grand expos. Harbin attracts a vast number of leisure tourists from around the globe, almost equivalent to the population of Beijing and Shanghai combined. This is why Harbin is regarded by many businesses as an important city to promote themselves. It is not for nothing that Harbin is ranked China's number one tourist destination by Chinese netizens. In 1920, the shining rails of Central Eastern Railway brought modern Western engineering and scientific thinking almost instantaneously into Harbin. And the establishment of Harbin Institute of Technology has made the city a pioneer in the provision of modern scientific education. The PLA Military Engineering Institute and other universities have also nurtured the outstanding talents of Chinese industrialization, the country's epoch-making development miracle. We all stand in their shadows. Harbin has a perfectly comprehensive higher education structure. Boasting the highest number of central government research institutes and key labs of any province, Harbin is a leading city for scientific education. The three power giants and its car and pharmaceutical industries have nurtured many outstanding technical personnel. The steel industry is like bones and black gold its blood. Harbin has accumulated over the past hundred years a rich reserve of practical and gifted creative human resources, providing each enterprise with an unbroken supply of natural human talent to help them grow. Harbin, the northernmost provincial capital of China, situated at the center of Northeast Asia, has always been the prime city of trade with Russia and the bridgehead for Sino-Russian trade and international trade in Northeast Asia. It is now building trade service platforms that promise vast prospects for development. Rapid growth of high-speed road construction, coupled with the early development and perfection of the railroad network, have given Harbin distinct advantages in both domestic and foreign trade. But an even more expansive future is waiting in the sky. With the closest Chinese airport to the North American zone, and at an almost equivalent distance to North America, Europe and Southeast Asia, Harbin is the undisputed shipping hub in Northeast Asia. Harbin is now building an international air cargo hub, connecting North America and covering Northeast Asia, thus providing powerful structural support for the development of high-end manufacturing through modern logistics. A stable geological structure, a relatively low average temperature, abundant power provision, a rich reserve of human talent, Harbin has uniquely advantaged conditions for developing cloud computing and establishing digital data centers. The most dazzling thing can be both the most mundane and also the most glorious, the black earth. For centuries, all the stories of Northeast China begin and end with this black earth this earth from out of which you can grow anything you wish for. Here are produced China's most fundamental granary commodities. Here is found the country's biggest production area for grains and milk. And here, many famous global dairy brands find their green and safe supply of raw materials. In recent years, many food enterprises investing in Harbin have achieved tremendous success. But the Great Northern Granary boasting a grain production capacity of over 500 million kilograms, still has the largest capacity, providing a supply of raw materials. Meanwhile, Harbin is also contemplating how to provide even better structural support to help enterprises setting up in the city, such as accelerating the construction of quality supply chains. And the recent World Food Expo will inject new lifeblood into the development of Harbin's food industry. Relying on the rich and fertile black soil, its position as a logistic center, its forests and rivers, Harbin will continue to make the food industry a fresh catalyst to lead the city's development. The northernmost, but not the farthermost. The coldest, but also the warmest. 
The three power giants once led the city's massive industrialization, but now international giants such as Nestle, Danone, UF Union International Food, Ericsson, Toyota, Mitsubishi, Airbus and John Deere have reinvigorated Harbin like a fresh ocean breeze. Along with the implementation of the new strategy, many new ideas for modern economic development are gradually taking shape. Harbin is devoting its heart to providing investors with all manner of possibilities, fresh inspirations and more liberal market conditions, and has already become the blue ocean. If you want to understand the power of humanity, the best way is to observe a city, to look at all the people with different shaped, different colored dreams, and to examine how the human beings through working change the shape of nature little by little. We say in China that in a city with ambition, you cannot lose your momentum because the energy of the people around you will push you irresistibly forward like a river, just as you will share your own encouragement with others. We hope that one day you will be able to say, yes, I understand, because I was there. Bin, China's life spirit, looking north.